The Tesla semi-truck has always been a fascinating machine. It excites even those who have no interest in buying or learning about semi-trucks. That's because for the first time in the world, there's an electric truck that can travel 500 miles, accelerate from zero to 60 miles per hour in 20 seconds, while carrying a full 36 ton load, much faster than traditional diesel trucks, and charge 70% of its battery in just 30 minutes. There are almost no other electric trucks in the world that can achieve this. However, when it comes to electric trucks, some argue that after covering 500 miles, diesel trucks will still be running strong while Tesla semis will be stuck at charging stations. They believe this won't be enough to convince people to switch to electric trucks. But many drivers who have experienced the Tesla semi say they never want to drive any other truck again. The Tesla semi delivers a driving experience unlike any other class eight truck, not to mention its incredibly low energy consumption and operating costs. This alone makes the semi the best electric truck in the world. Although it was delayed for years due to Giga Nevada's limited production capacity, this year, the Tesla Semi is set to take over the trucking industry with large-scale production and integrated full self-driving. Elon Musk has continuously emphasized the massive benefits of the big rig, and here's everything you need to know about the Tesla Semi. Welcome to Tesla Car World. If, if you're a transport company, you don't use an electric, the Tesla electric Semi, you're just losing money. Why would you do that? <laughs> do you not like money, okay. Uh, but if you do like money, then I recommend using the Tesla Semi. <laughs> you may not realize it, but in just over a decade, diesel trucks will become a thing of the past as most countries around the world transition to electric trucks. A prime example is Europe, which has already passed a ban on the sale of gasoline and diesel cars starting in 2035. In the US, the California Air Resources Board has approved new regulations and voted to ban the sale of large diesel-powered trucks from 2036 while requiring all trucks to be zero emission by 2042. So in just a little over a decade, it will be rare to see diesel trucks still operating on the roads. Now we finally understand why Elon Musk is so ambitious about electric vehicles. More accurately, Perhaps no one other than Elon Musk foresaw the future of the trucking industry before the rest of the world even realized it. While people continue to debate whether electric trucks can replace diesel trucks, the Tesla Semi is already here as proof. It is nearly on par with diesel trucks and in fact, it eliminates many of the limitations that diesel trucks have. Tesla Semi is currently equipped with an 850 kilowatt hour battery pack, consuming 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile with a confirmed 500-mile range throughout testing so far. However, the company plans to transition to using 4680 batteries in the next version of the Semi, which will be produced at a new factory instead of the current 2170 battery cells. The shift in battery technology could be a significant step toward achieving even more impressive performance metrics for Tesla's big rig. The 4680 battery is significantly larger than the 2170, increasing energy capacity by approximately five times and boosting power output by six times. This allows the Semi to achieve a longer range without requiring many additional battery cells, an especially crucial factor for electric trucks since reducing the weight of the Semi truck increases its cargo capacity. As Elon Musk has emphasized, if you run a trucking company and are not using electric trucks, you will lose. What does this mean? Clearly, we all want our trucks to consume less fuel require less maintenance, and ultimately generate significant annual cost savings. On the semi-order page, Tesla has listed that charging with electricity is approximately two times cheaper per mile than refueling with diesel. Operators can see estimated fuel savings of up to $150,000 within their first three years of ownership, with remote diagnostics, over-the-air software updates, and fewer moving parts to maintain Operators will spend less time at service centers and more time on the road. Tesla Semi has been tested by real customers such as PepsiCo, DHL, and Saya, who have confirmed that its energy consumption is remarkable and aligns with Tesla's claims. The big rig only uses 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile, equating to an operating cost of $0.3 per mile. This means that for a 6.5 mile drive, the driver spends only about $3.30 based on current electricity prices.
In comparison, a typical diesel truck requires about one gallon of fuel for the same distance, and with fuel prices reaching up to $3.66 per gallon, the operating costs would be significantly higher. But as we mentioned earlier, the benefits of the semi don't stop at operating costs. In terms of maintenance, electric trucks are much simpler than diesel-powered trucks. Without an internal combustion engine, no complex transmission and fewer moving parts, this translates to fewer breakdowns. According to Tesla, the maintenance cost of the semi is only around 10 cents per mile, approximately $50,000 over five years, if the driver covers 100,000 miles per year. In contrast, diesel trucks require more frequent maintenance, including oil changes, exhaust system repairs, and engine servicing, pushing the average cost to 20 cents per mile or $100,000 over five years. Additionally, the durability of the semi is also impressive. According to Dan Priestley, the Tesla Semi fleet achieves an operational uptime rate of up to 95%, including both scheduled and unscheduled maintenance. One Semi has traveled over 248,000 miles in just 18 months, demonstrating its ability to operate reliably before requiring major maintenance. Meanwhile, as diesel trucks age, maintenance costs rise, reducing long-term economic efficiency. In fact, diesel truck costs have increased significantly recently, without much change in operational methods. You might be wondering, why is the semi so good yet it's not widespread on the market? This is a question that many people might ask, and for those who pay little attention to Tesla, they mightn't even be aware of the semi's existence. This is the problem Tesla has been working to solve, and time is the solution to this issue. The Tesla Semi was unveiled in 2017, with the first deliveries starting in 2022. Since then, until last year, only about 300 Tesla Semis had been produced. 300 trucks over nearly eight years is clearly a production hell. We have to admit this. Why did this happen? We previously explained the reasons for the limited number of Semi trucks in the last episode. Many factors contribute to this, but the scale of the factory and testing time are the two main reasons why Tesla has been slow with its big rig. You may or may not know that Giga Nevada is the primary production hub for both batteries and the Tesla Semi. However, with a total area of only 5.4 million square feet, the factory is not large enough to establish a mass production line for heavy-duty trucks. Unlike SUVs, sedans, or pickup trucks, a truck manufacturing plant requires significantly more space to accommodate the complex assembly process. As a result, since Tesla began delivering the semi to its first customer, PepsiCo, production numbers have remained limited. By the end of last year, only about 200 Tesla semis had been produced, with Tesla retaining around 100 units for internal use and the rest delivered to pre-order customers. This means Tesla has yet to fulfill all of its committed orders. However, things are about to change. With a massive $3.6 billion investment in a dedicated factory for semi-production, now approximately 60% complete and mass production could begin in quarter four this year, with an estimated output around 10,000 units. This new facility will add an additional 4 million square feet of production space, enabling Tesla to ramp up semi-production to an entirely new scale. While official production capacity numbers haven't been disclosed, Given Elon Musk's ambitions, the Tesla Semi is sure to enter full-scale production at an incredible pace. Elon Musk is confident that by the time the new factory is fully operational in 2026, Tesla will produce up to 50,000 semis annually, a highly ambitious figure that would mark a major leap in the electric transportation industry. This means that more than 135 semis would roll off the production line every day, equivalent to over five trucks per hour, or one every 10 to 15 minutes if the factory operates 24-7. Last October, after transporting two semi-trucks from North America to Europe, Elon Musk emphasized on X that Tesla Semi will be available worldwide. Previously, we believed that the Semi could only operate in the U.S. due to the size and regulations for trucks in Europe, which differ. However, some confirmations from the Semi team suggest that the versions of the Semi produced at Giga Berlin will be adjusted in certain aspects. Furthermore, if customers decide to purchase the Semi, they will be able to customize its configuration. For example, if you only need to carry goods within 250 or 300 miles, Tesla can install a smaller battery pack and other accessories to suit your needs, allowing you to buy the Semi at a lower cost. As of last year, the price for the 500-mile version of the Semi was disclosed to be $250,000. 
regarding bringing the semi to markets outside of North America, Tesla has mentioned that they only need to make minor adjustments, such as modifying the wheel covers and turn signals, to meet the requirements of these markets. In fact, from the beginning, when the semi was still in the design phase, Tesla aimed to create a large truck that closely adhered to international standards. This means they wouldn't have to start from scratch or make major modifications to bring the semi from North America to other markets. As you can see, they have two versions of the semi, with ranges of 300 miles and 500 miles, and two different sizes. The current versions also do not have a sleeper cabin, so when the semi enters Europe, they will need to include a spacious sleeping area, which, by regulation, will be set up with a metal frame behind the cabin. According to Dan Priestley, adding a sleeper will allow drivers to make longer trips. The Tesla Semi already has a spacious cabin with easy access to control buttons, featuring two screens and Tesla's top-tier software. Drivers won't have to wait long to charge, as the Semi only takes 30 minutes to charge up to 70%. During this time, drivers can unload cargo or take a break. Thanks to the independent front suspension and regenerative braking system, drivers won't need to press the brake even once during their trip, and this is one of the reasons why drivers are so excited about this electric truck. Since its launch, the Tesla Semi has been incredibly unusual, not just because of its astonishing performance specs. It's also strange because its cabin design is unlike any other truck. Unlike traditional trucks which have an offset driver's seat, the Tesla Semi features a centrally positioned driver's seat in the middle of the cabin. This design offers significant advantages, including a better panoramic view, reduced blind spots, and improved visibility when turning or navigating through dense traffic. Additionally, the symmetrical design allows the truck to be compatible with all markets without requiring structural changes to the cabin, making production and operation more convenient in countries with different traffic rules. The cabin space is also more spacious providing greater comfort for the driver and making entry and exit easier. Moreover, the Tesla Semi integrates two large touchscreen displays on both sides, enabling the driver to monitor information easily without excessive head movement. This design is also optimized for driver assistance systems, helping to reduce fatigue on long hauls. We all know that being a truck driver is considered one of the most dangerous jobs due to the many risks associated with working conditions and driving environments. According to the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, there were 168,731 accidents involving large trucks in the United States in 2023, resulting in 4,970 fatalities and 71,272 injuries. Oh my God, that's absolutely terrifying. Thus, the global transportation industry is currently facing a driver shortage largely due to the high number of accidents. This is mainly attributed to truck drivers having to endure long hours on the road, often driving overnight, leading to fatigue and drowsiness. This exhaustion reduces their reaction time and increases the risk of accidents. Additionally, the pressure of tight delivery schedules makes it difficult for drivers to stay fully focused. As part of an effort to encourage drivers to adopt the Tesla Semi and to help alleviate the industry's driver shortage, Elon Musk recently announced that the Tesla Semi will soon be equipped with full self-driving by the end of this year. The full self-driving feature on the Tesla Semi is expected to bring numerous benefits, especially in the context of the ongoing driver shortage. With full self-driving, the Tesla Semi can help reduce the stress of continuous long-haul driving, allowing drivers to rest while the truck operates autonomously. This helps maintain their health and alertness, ultimately reducing accident risks caused by fatigue. Additionally, this technology has the potential to address the labor shortage by improving working conditions, making the trucking industry more appealing to new drivers. However, human intervention will still be necessary in complex traffic situations or when parking. One of the biggest advantages of full self-driving is its ability to operate continuously with minimal downtime, increasing freight transport efficiency and reducing disruptions on long-haul journeys. In 2020, Bill Gates stated that the world should adopt electric vehicles as much as possible. However, he also claimed that batteries will never be a practical solution for heavy-duty, long-haul vehicles, cargo ships, and passenger jets. This implied that a battery-powered Class 8 truck would not be viable for the trucking industry, let alone whether an electric truck could perform well. 
Yeah, and now we have the answer. Musk once said that Bill Gates knew nothing about electric trucks, and the Tesla Semi might be the clearest evidence to counter the Microsoft founder's claim. If, in two or three years, the Semi reaches global markets, it could bring significant benefits in reducing pollution from diesel-powered semi-trucks. According to the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, medium and heavy-duty trucks consume more than a quarter of the U.S. fuel supply, despite making up only 4% of vehicles on the road. Fully electric trucks could make a substantial difference in cutting down the burning of dirty energy sources that contribute to global warming. If you care about the environment and recognize the severe pollution caused by diesel trucks, you'll have even more reasons to choose an electric truck. Although electric trucks have the potential to transform the transportation industry, this remains a challenging market. Producing electric trucks requires large-scale manufacturing and substantial financial investment. Otherwise, manufacturers risk significant losses. Recently, Nikola Motor, the company that once sued Tesla for allegedly copying the design of its electric semi-truck, is now facing the risk of bankruptcy. According to the latest report from the Wall Street Journal, Nikola is working with the law firm Pillsbury Winthrop Shaw Pittman to evaluate its options, including selling assets or restructuring under bankruptcy protection. A Nikola representative confirmed that the company is still assessing its financial situation and considering funding options to restructure its business operations. Nikola was once considered a formidable competitor in the sustainable transportation industry, strong enough to accuse Tesla of copying the Nikola One prototype for its Tesla Semi. However, everything started to collapse when Hindenburg Research released a report in 2020 accusing Nikola and former CEO Trevor Milton of exaggerating the company's technological capabilities to attract investors. As a result, Milton was convicted of fraud in 2022 and is currently appealing his sentence. Following this scandal, Nikola continued operating under new leadership and launched the Nikola Trey truck. Nevertheless, the company's financial situation remains dire. According to its latest earnings report, Nikola produced over 80 trucks in the quarter ending in September, but reported a net loss of nearly $200 million. With its current struggles, Nikola's future is more uncertain than ever. Fortunately, Tesla has managed to overcome challenges over nearly eight years with the Semi. It ultimately did not fall into the so-called production hell that many had feared. Instead, the Semi is poised to take over the trucking industry by the end of this year and in the years to come. So, what do you think about the Tesla Semi? Thanks for watching our video. If you want to explore more exciting information about the Tesla Semi or Tesla EVs, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to subscribe to Tesla Car World and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.